So. I'm interested in, in, in <clears throat> understanding how the variance, more about the variance, because if I understand the variance, I can understand the standard deviation. And uh, I, I have really uh, seen that standard deviation helps a lot. Um, <clears throat> I mean, is used a lot um, by, um, in finance, for what I'm doing in finance. Um, and so again, variance is in the standard deviation is just a square <coughs> square root of the variance. Um, so I want to keep looking at variance. Um, minimum and maximum values. Um, for example, okay, so we're up here. For example, uh, min. min and max variance uh, around central tendency can predict stable and can predict stable and unstable uh, situations. Minimax variance around central tendency can minimax variance around central tendency can predict uh, stable and unstable um, The script states the inferential uh, minimum experience around center chance can predict uh, can predict uh, stability. High variance. High variance implies. Oh, shit. Okay, let's put that. 
Okay, so now yeah, I'm gonna take it out of here uh, because I had this before. I need something in the conclusion. So I should put it in the conclusion. Yep. Uh, min. Min and max variance around center tendency can predict stability. High variance implies unstability. implies consistency. All high variance implies high implies inconsistency.
Okay, so standard deviation. So your y calculate standard deviation is just the square root. Standard deviation is calculated by taking the square root of variance. Those are reasons to make the units comparable. To make the standard cell variance, it's not um, it's not in the original units. So um, yeah, again, um, very important to understand variance later. We'll do that more. Um, but yeah, um, so going to standard deviation goes back to the regular units that were used in the first place. Um, Variance is measured in the squared units, while the standard deviation is measured in the same units as the original data. So that's the point right here. Standard deviation is used because it's used in the same units as the original data. It's makes it easier to compare the standard deviations of two data sets that are measured in different units. To make the standard deviation more interpretable, distribution is easier to understand the variance because it's not in squared units. For example, standard deviation of 10 means that the data points are typically 10 units away from the mean. Uh, yeah, which is true. It is true. Make standard deviation more robust to outliers. Outliers are data points that are similarly different from the rest of the data. The variance is sensitive to outliers, but the standard deviation is not as sensitive. It's because the square root operation reduces the impact of outliers. Standard deviation is calculated because it's more interpretable and robust to measure the spread of data than the variance. Okay, the variance in both data set is 16. However, the standard deviation of data is set is a, a, a of set A is 4. The variance of both data sets is 16. Standard deviation is 4. While the standard deviation of data set B is 12. It's because the outlier in data set B has a large impact on the variance, but it does not as have as much of impact on standard deviation. Because the outlier in data set B has a large impact on the variance. In general, the standard deviation is a more useful measure of the spread of data than the variance. However, the variance can be useful in some cases, such as when comparing the spread of two data sets that are measured in different units. So later we'll have to understand um, variance, but we'll have to also be um, uh, careful not to fall in the trap that, oh, the logarithms are the be all and end all of, um, you know, of, uh, <laughs> of analysis um, when actually they're just an, an old and archaic way that was replaced by computers. Um, <coughs> So, I have to be the same. I have to be careful here. <coughs> Variance may look interesting, but is it actually right? So, um, uh, so low variance implies low risk and more consistency than high variance. Standard deviation is just the uh, uh, standard deviation is the just the square root of variance, and preferred. And uh, preferred because it uses the original units. Okay. Uses the same units as the original data because it uses the same units as the original data. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Um, I want to understand variance, but I'll probably just stay with standard deviations. Um, <clears throat> One point five conclusion. Um, let me do a run down here really fast. My sponsor. I think it's uh, okay. So, um, and then we'll move to task two. Oh, finally, right? Okay, so this conclusion has nothing in it. So, we want to. So, I want to review the impact. Of, I want to review this section and see how this pans out. So, I'm going to stop here and. Um, We'll see if I can pause this first.
Um, let's see what happens. 